Hello, and welcome to Trailer Sessions with Annie Ford. I'm sitting in my renovated 1950 Airstream Flying Cloud. And these sessions, I'm going to be helping you improve your skills as a violinist and or fiddler. In today's session, we will be focusing on flexibility of our wrist and fingers when bowing. Our goal is to remove as much tension as we can from our right arm, wrist, and fingers. Let's start with your arm in front of you and your wrist just kind of flopped over, very loose and relaxed. This is more or less the position of your wrist at the start of the down bow. Here is what it looks like to the side. So now let's take your wrist to your forehead and pretend like you are almost ready to faint on a couch. So go ahead and bring it in front of you again and then put it up to your forehead. Feel free to add as much dramatic flair as you want. And now from here, I want you to gently push your hand away almost as if you were pushing someone away or the idea of someone away, right? I can't bear to look at you. I don't want to see you. So you're fainting or almost fainting and then you're just pushing away with your wrist. So this is at the end of your down bow stroke. So you're here and then you're pushing away. So let's transfer that where we were from our forehead to just right in front of us. So here, imagine your forehead is right here and you're just pushing away. And just try that a couple of times. Now we're gonna add the up bow motion. So once you're down here with your down bow, imagine that you have a string around your wrist here that you're going to be pulling the wrist back toward you. So we're, it's a little bit of miming here. So wrist is being pulled up by imaginary string. Pulled up, you're fainting on the couch and you're pushing away, pulling up with string. So try that several times in a row and see how fluid you can make that motion. If I return to the side, that's what it looks like. And this is all without the bow. You're just getting used to that flexible wrist. All right, so let's go ahead and put the bow into the hand now. So same thing, you're gonna let that wrist flop over. So now you've had your, your fainting hand and now you're gonna gently push that away. Bring it back up to you with the string. Push it away, bring it back up. And let's look at it from this angle. Here's your starting position on the down bow. And then you've pushed some away so you see just a little bit of my palm there. Now that we've talked about the wrist and how loose that is, we're going to now connect it with the fingers. So with your bow in front of you, you're gonna hold it with the left hand and go ahead and place your bow hold. And with your wrist in that sort of upward position there, pull the bow as if you were taking a down bow. So you're gonna pull with your index finger. On the down bow, and then on the up bow, you're pulling with the ring finger. So those two fingers are pretty important. And the pinky is just real flexible there. So watch as I 
pull down with my index finger what happens to my wrist. So that those fingers have a lot to do with how flexible your wrist is as well. So everything is, is very loose. Now applying it to the string. And let's be a little bit exaggerating. We're going to over exaggerate the bow now, the bow arm. So we've got our fainting wrist here. And then we're going to draw out the bow all the way to where you can see the palm. If you were standing on the other side. translate into a good tone and they will make your playing sound a little bit more relaxed. I'll go ahead and give you some examples of what that flexible wrist and fingers look like on a slower song and then a faster song. <laughs> That's just a piece of an old ballad. So you can see in those long bows, everything's really flexible. Here's a piece of the tune Dusty Miller. So you'll still see that flexibility in the wrist and the fingers in this faster tune. It's just kind of more micro movements. All right, I'll give you a couple different angles. <laughs> So you'll see that my fingers, when the tune becomes faster, a little bit more finger work than there is wrist work, but a lot of flexibility is happening with those fingers. So that's something to keep in mind when uh, you practice those faster tunes. You can also practice this without the tune and just practice on um, long bows or long to short bows. <laughs> that wrist going the whole time and you can exaggerate it in the beginning it'll really help when you go to do it in real time if you enjoyed this trailer session you can go to anyfordmusic.com to find others and also to email me about private lessons you will also find on that website my original music with my band any ford band and you can follow any other projects or tours that I'm doing. Thank you for watching. <laughs>